All right, thanks, Aaron. And it hasn't been the most ideal evening for uh, anything they've had planned because of all this rain. And we've got more that is on the way for later on tonight. Showers pushing through western North Carolina. We've got some in northeast Georgia just starting to creep into Oconee County now. And we've got the lingering downpours. This was round one that is still soaking you around Greenwood down to Kirksey, Newberry County, Union over toward Clinton, seeing some of that rain. And now it's getting into areas like Walhalla, Seneca, you're getting another dose of rain and all that's starting to push into Oakway as well. And that's going to keep moving off to the east. I doubt you're going to hear much thunder with this, but there's a chance you may hear a rumble overnight, especially in the mountains where some heavier rain could gear up. But right now it's just your garden variety showers and temperatures are cool in the 50s. So it's a it's a chilly rain. If you've still got to get the dog out one last time before bed or uh, just need to take the garbage cans in, anything like that, it's just going to have that raw feel outside with the light rain and temperatures holding in the 50s for most spots. As we go into late tonight, notice light rain for 1 a.m., but seeing some heavy downpours approach the mountains. Heavier rain will push into the upstate as we go toward the morning commute. I say morning commute, it's th Thanksgiving, so a lot of people are probably not going to work, but a few will still have to, like those of us in the TV industry. Uh, scattered showers will be around early, and then as we head into the afternoon, notice that we'll see a nice clearing. So really between 7 9 a.m. you could still see some rain, but by the afternoon it's looking much better. So taking that meal outside would not be the worst idea in the world. In fact, it's going to feel pretty good with temperatures warming into the low 70s. I mean, pretty much room temperature outside. Uh, so if you end up wanting to just uh, spend some time after your meal, go for a nice walk. It'll be a great afternoon to do that. On the Carolina Sky Meter, I would give it a perfect 10 if it weren't for those morning showers, those pesky <laughs> showers. Oh, yes, I knew there'd be a special sound effect for Thanksgiving. Thanks, Adam. All right, so showers will be back after what we've dealt with tonight. We'll come back in on Saturday, but it does appear it's going to be very isolated as we go into the day. We're going to mostly be dry through Saturday and even into Sunday too. Sunday morning, a few clouds. But look at all this rain that's going to be on the way for Sunday night. That's 6 p.m., so still mostly dry in our area. Heavy rain for Monday morning. And then look at that. Snow on the back edge of the system should be up in western North Carolina only. Not expecting any snow in the upstate, but it's going to get cold. Look at that drop in temperatures. We're going to go from 70s on Friday with sunshine uh, to up near 70 on Saturday and then 50 Sunday and Monday 40s for your high on Tuesday once all that rain gets out of here and we'll all drop into the 20s as we get into Tuesday night in the mountains. Watch for snow Monday night into early on Tuesday. Could get one to two inches along the Tennessee border areas. Of course, you'll want to check in with the morning news from 6 to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. A little bit shorter of a show, but Nicole Pape will be there to bring you your updates every 10 minutes.